Hey everyone, it's Greg from The Pot Thickens. I want to share with you tonight a dish that I just threw together. It's a Moroccan flavored linguine with a butternut squash sauce. I wasn't planning to make this video. I just was throwing this together at the last minute because I roasted up a butternut squash today to have on hand. And the flavors and aromas that were coming out of this dish as I was making it just uh, oh, it overwhelmed me. And I thought I would just grab my camera and uh, take some video as I was throwing it together at the last minute and putting it together so you can see how I cook. I usually don't cook from recipes. I just um, look around my kitchen and find whatever I have available to make and make a dish from it. And this is what you're gonna see, raw, pretty much unedited video and footage of me making this Moroccan flavored butternut squash pasta. It was amazing. About once a week, I usually roast a butternut squash and keep it in the fridge for various recipes and some I'm gonna share on this channel. Uh, and today I roasted up a butternut squash by just slicing it in half, removing the seeds, placing it face down on a baking tray and roasting it in an oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. After that, it came out nicely, beautiful caramelized and golden brown on the edges and sweet and soft. Well, with no further ado, here's the video. Well, hey everyone, it's Greg from The Pot Thickens and uh, I wasn't gonna record a video tonight, but I thought I would just show you what I'm making. I often don't cook from recipes. I just look around the kitchen, see what I have available to make and throw it all together. And today I was inspired by Moroccan food and I'm gonna show you what I have in the pot. Hey everyone, sorry for this quick hack video, but I just, uh, I wasn't gonna record this tonight, but I thought I would share with you what I'm making because um, it smells so good and I think it's gonna be great. What I have in the pot is some linguine cooking. It's, it'll be done in about uh, 10 minutes here. I just threw it into the pot, it's starting to soften. And I'm gonna make a sauce and what I have in the blender is just amazing. I have half of a roasted butternut squash that I roasted earlier today. And in here are some caramelized onions and some garlic that I quickly sauteed up. And there's Moroccan spices. So I have a mixture of turmeric, ginger powder, a little bit of cinnamon, some coriander, cumin seed, some black pepper, uh, a little salt, a little lemon juice, and uh, I'm gonna make a sauce out of this. As soon as that pasta cooks a little more, I'm gonna throw some of that pasta water into here with that starch to thicken that up. Uh, put that into my pan, blend it with the linguine, and we're gonna have dinner. Okay, everyone, I've taken a couple of ladles full of um, pasta water from the boiling linguine, and I'm gonna throw it into my blender and get this going. I think this is gonna make a nice sauce. And then I'm gonna throw it into a pan. If it's too thin, I'll cook it down a little bit. If it's too thick, I'll add a little bit more water to it. And that's the way it rolls. So let's see about getting this blended up here. Oh, I think I, think I need my plunger for this one. This is not working too well. So let me get my, my plunger on here. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. All right. Okay, is that a little bit? That's... Yeah, that's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna add another ladle full of um, pasta water to this and thin it down some more and blend it. a little better. Sauce is going into the pan. Still a little thick. I'm sure I'm gonna have to thin that down a little bit more. Oh, that looks so good. All right, linguine is going in. We're gonna to toss this together with that sauce and it's gonna be dinner. Oh man. Okay, I think that looks really, really good. Can't wait to tuck into this one. Okay, let's plate this up and enjoy it. I'm gonna to try to do this one-handed. We'll see how this works. That's the pasta. Oh my gosh, look at how nice and creamy that butternut squash is. Oh, and I can smell the cinnamon and the cumin and all those luscious flavors. Let's just put this 
into a bowl. Of course, I'm going to make a mess with this. Well, it's home cooking. It's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be delicious. Oh my goodness. The color is just so vibrant. Orange. I think the turmeric that's in there helps a little bit with that. Um, yeah, I'm just holding my camera, so this is just like a quick hack video. But it's real, man. It's real. Oh, that is delightful. I have no special lighting, no special filters. I'm taking this in one take and, you know, it is what it is. So that is my Moroccan butternut squash pasta. Linguini. Oh man, I got to get a picture of this. All right, Lisa. First bite. Let me know how it is. Let's see. Describe it. Mmm. It's good? Yeah, a little sweet. Uh, that's the squash. I think the squash yep, gives a little sweet, sweetness. little Maybe a little smoky. Um, maybe, maybe from a little cumin or the mm -hmm. and the um, charred um, onions. Pretty color. Yeah, the yeah. color is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, very good. A plus. Moroccan infused flavors in this linguine with butternut squash, roasted butternut squash. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. There's right there is the uh, money shot. Hey everyone, thank you for watching as I took you along on my culinary journey tonight in my kitchen. Um, I appreciate you following along with my hack videos. Before you go, please take a moment and click the like button and subscribe to this channel. I can hack my way through the kitchen, but I really need your help to grow this channel. See you next time.